Okay, Travis here from Refine Movement. We are going back into the past again to install some random parts on the car and get it ready for Honda Meets track attack at the firm. I think it was a couple years ago I made this cutout in the uh, headlight to force air onto this side of the engine, get air into the engine that's cooler. You know, I was hoping that would make it run better. Um, I think for purposes of an NA D series engine, that really doesn't matter in this situation. And I have really enjoyed not running a front grill on my EK like you're supposed to. Um, I think it looks better and it's just less complicated um, when I'm towing and switching the bumper out and all that kind of stuff. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this. The engine's been running too cool, I think, to be optimal. Um, and it just doesn't look that good. When there's a big hole over here, the front end just looks weird. And uh, that's been pointed out to me as of recently. So I really want to try to just make the car look a little bit better. And uh, so I got some new headlights, aftermarket headlights, can't go wrong, and nice and shiny. So let's get this on. Fully, I only have two bolts to undo because I'm lazy like that and bolts everything in just fine. Just gonna undo these bolts and this thing should pop right out. Also, I have the blinker still installed, hazard light, undo that, and that's it. All right, so I got the lights working, which is good. Um, that light always has an issue. This one seems to be fine, so let's plug it up. Can't beat any new headlights, that's for sure. The only issue I always have with stuff is that my front end is not OEM. So, and I don't buy OEM stuff because it's not an OEM radiator support. So it doesn't really matter. So, but it makes it very difficult to get this stuff like kind of in line and how it should look. So I gotta work on that. So I have to address the elephant in the room as I do the next mod. I put my brake booster back. After testing the home to delete for some time in my car and trying to uh, hone my skills with uh, heel toe braking 
and blipping the throttle. I've had a lot of issues putting enough brake pressure to be able to do that with the brake setup I have, which is stock. So after testing their uh, adjustable pedal kit that I had installed, I realized that it still wasn't enough for me to accurately uh, and efficiently do uh, a good brake and heel toe uh, maneuver on track. And the real reason is, is you have to push the brake pedal so far down and it's so far away from the throttle pedal that that gap between the two is problematic. So I just wanted to go back to the stock setup. Um, I want more brake pressure at the very beginning of my pedal throw. The booster gives that with the brakes that I have. The stock brakes and then I run the, the Hawk um, uh, I'm not sure it's like a track pad but still can be used on the street so um, I think I want to upgrade the front pads to something more track oriented in the future but for now um, I'm gonna keep the the honed uh, delete off the car and just go with this Old, new, fresh.
So that was the track attack, which is always kind of a mixed bag. It is fun, but also a little annoying because it is sold out every time we go. And that is very limiting for track, uh, track time so you know we we do our best with what we can um, I will say my only criticism of the firm um, is they need 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 a PA system so the run groups can know when they're coming when they're coming up and we had a big problem with missing time in our sessions because so many cars were there and we never knew what was going on but overall it's always good to get on track and um, you know, test out the car. Uh, I got new tires on it uh, because the Hoosiers were done and the Nankangs were really fun. Um, I'm enjoying them, I'm getting a feel for them. Uh, I never really understood or ever got a grip of, got a grip of the uh, Hoosiers because I don't know if the tires were just bad the whole time from being used um, prior to my ownership or what it is. Um, these are definitely bigger I enjoy 225s on this car. I had them before the Hoosiers and I just love this tire size. It gives me a more confident feeling in the car. So I have one more episode that's kind of a blast from the past uh, that's coming up next week. So please subscribe and I appreciate you all watching. I will see you next week.